Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries, and I'm glad you're here today, and I think you will be too when you find out what's going on today. So, I want to show you kind of a newer company, a product that they have. Um, we're going to go over a lot of things, so I'll just start going over one by one and letting you look at the product and checking it out. It's a new product, a new company called Cupped Waterfowl. You can check them out at cupped.com. And I think you guys are going to like what you see today. Very, very, very fair in price and very affordable, honestly. And for the price that these guys are offering, this stuff is pretty good quality. I think you'll be impressed. So we'll just go over this stuff real quick, kind of just touch over it. Here's the Drake Mallard. It looks pretty good, honestly. It's got nice kill. It's got a front and back spot where you can put the hook. Here's the top portion of it. Side. Bottom. Nice light decoy, a little bit on the smaller end, but really good paint scheme and looks quality. I mean, you sit there and scratch on it and paint's not coming off, so it looks like it's pretty good. So honestly, there's a Drake Mallard, there's six of those. All right, let's see what the hens look like. Here's the hen. Hen looks really good too, paint, good paint color. That's the top of it. Solid, solid decoy, honestly. Looks really good. All right, next one we got is the backpack. And it is called, they call it their Waterfowl Backpack. And like I said, you can go check this stuff out on the website too. And it's super fair in price, like really good pricing, guys. But side pocket, okay, it's just regular side pocket. It's got a couple loops here to hang other stuff, molly loops or whatever you want to call it. Got a, a, a spot here on the bottom to hold stuff. It's got another slot, spot here on the right side on top. It's got a water bottle pouch, which is really slick and nice. You could cinch it up. Uh, the very front pouch has got some more loops you can put stuff on. Nice little open pouch there. And here, let's see what we got. Oh yeah. See, I like how they do this with their stuff. They got the waterproof pouch in here, so you could stick, you know, hunting license in there, <clears throat> whatever you want to stick in there and keep it dry or something that you just electrical, you know, whatever, you don't want it to get get ruined or something that's got batteries in it, whatever. Um, they got a nice carabiner and with the duck strap on here. Inside, it's got more loops, metal loops on the outside. On the inside of the big one, it's got, <clears throat> looks kind of like, maybe like choke uh, holders. It's got a clip, it's got another D-ring inside. It's got plenty of room and I really like this because it's got a hard bottom. If you were sitting in moist soil, it went, it's got a hard plastic on the inside, so not only would it stay up by itself, but it won't get your stuff wet that's sitting in the bottom of this. So that's really cool. Their shoulder straps are look are very comfortable. It's got nice padding on it, um, and it's also got I guess you'd call it like the stomach or the waist strap to kind of hold it secure around the front of you. Um, it's also got a sunglass holder that's got like the nice felt inside so you don't scratch up your lenses, so that's pretty slick. My uh, Rig'em Right bag has that and I really like it. And last but not least, it's got a padded laptop holder. So it's got padding on this side and the other side. Put your laptop in there or whatever you want to keep safe from getting bumped and beat up. So I really like this backpack a lot, honestly. It's pretty slick. Okay, decoy bag for the decoys. It's a 12 slot decoy bag. It's four slots wide and three slots deep. I'll just kind of show you real quick. It's got mesh on the bottom so the water can drain out. This is such a great beginner setup, but hopefully you can see it good enough on the inside. It's got the shoulder strap and the carrying handles, but the mesh is on the bottom. That way when you're loading your decoys back, if you're done hunt for the day, all that water drains out and don't make your bag like 10 times heavier and I've had bags that are like that and it is a pain. So that's really nice. Kind of your standard decoy bag. Uh, let's see, oh, we got a hand warmer. And this has got a waist loop, but it's also got strap or um, clips on top and bottom with some D-rings on the bottom. So if you want to hang this from your waders or if you want to wear it around your waist, but you can put your hands in there and keep them warm with super plush material inside. Keep them warm out of the elements. Put your shells here in front and then you can put the extra cells inside or put like choke tubes or snacks your cell phone whatever any of that kind of stuff so these are really nice so that is your deluxe hand warmer and this is all in that that timber color too i like that pattern really i like it okay what else we got waiter bag okay that's what i'm talking about 
I'm actually keeping one of these for myself, but this will be part of what's coming up. I'm about to share with you guys here in a second. So I am keeping one of these myself and a layout blind. So here's some slick right off the bat. It's got that real tough bottom so it doesn't punch through and get through to your waders. So it's a real tough material. But also, if you unzip this on the bottom, there is a pad inside. I'm not gonna take it out, but there is a nice soft pad that you can pull out of here and put down to change your waders. Right here. I guess I'm gonna pull it out. I said I wasn't going to, but I did. So look it. You got a standing pad to change your waders. It's perfect. It's a genius idea. Sitka did the same thing, but this is way cheaper than that uh, wader bag. And to be honest with you, I kind of like these a little bit bigger ones. That's why I got one for myself. That just tucks right back up in there. Never even know it's there. I can't lie though. I still like using my prayer rug, you know? My nice little old rug that my wife had, put it down. It's like you're standing on a carpet. That's kind of my go-to, but this is pretty slick and I'll probably be using it. All right, on the side, it has in the zipper, it's got another waterproof pouch that you could put, I would say, you know, underwear, socks, a change. You know, I don't know if you could fit a whole change of clothes in here, but you can definitely stick like socks and underwear and keep them dry. You know, while you're on the hunt, if your back's sitting out and it's raining, you got no worries. Plus, you can stick whatever else you want in here. You know, keeping your truck too. But just in just in case you forget, you definitely got. You can put dry clothes in there. All right, they put these Velcro strips to kind of keep this all kind of sealed up. If you can see on the top of this bag. But if you want, when you go to open it, or if you decide to leave it open, pop all those off, and you got mesh on top so you can let it air out and the reason for that is in my opinion this is why they did it and i would want it like this anyways if you do leave your waders in there and you don't take them out when you get home they can actually air out and not get um that moisture won't stand there because what it will happen is start molding your stuff get growing mold on it but if you have good ventilation on top like this does which i really like that's great idea you can leave them in there and shouldn't have to worry about getting mold or anything like that plus it helps them dry out quicker so on the inside there's plenty of room it folds all the way over which i really like you can just put your boots in fold your waders over close it up zip it up so i really like this piece honestly i really like it plus it's got a shoulder strap if you want that too in here and the zippers on these are really good like they remind me of tangle free zippers they're quality and they don't catch you know some of those cheap zippers it seems like every time they catch on something and it's really frustrating but i've noticed that these don't do that you got the 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 duck butts so there's two of them there's a hand and a drake to go with the decoys their texas rig weight system there's a 30 inch texas rig and i'm not going to open this package it's just keep it sealed it's not like the pop open kind you got to cut it open so i'm going to keep it sealed but there are four ounce weights on here it comes in a six pack and it's your typical Texas rig system and it looks like they really used high quality, heavy duty stuff for the Texas rigs. And lastly, the duck strap. It's got a nice clip, a hook, you can hang it on a tree, hang it on a nail, you can hang it off your backpack, whatever you wanna do, you throw it over your shoulder, but there's four loops on each side, so eight total, but limits usually six or seven, most places sometimes five, depending on where you're at in the country. But, if you go shoot geese, you can double up, triple up on each one of these loops pretty easy. I do it all the time with my, my duck strap. And also, they have, and they got more stuff than this, guys, but they got also this layout, and it's $119.99 for a whole layout. It's got the top cover that you can put over you. It's got the backpack straps. You unbuckle all this and open her up. It's got four buckles. Open this thing up, super light. I bet you it doesn't weigh five, seven pounds, honestly. And boom, you got a layout. So we're gonna be using these in some of the videos here coming up soon. I know it's kind of tight in here to be opening this up all the way, but just kind of want to show you guys some of the things they have. And all this stuff is not even all the stuff that they have. I am super stoked to be working with them to give you guys this away. One lucky person is gonna win all this stuff. Besides the layout blind, you're gonna win the 12 floaters, the two butt up decoys, the decoy rigging system for all of them. So you're fully rigged up, set up, ready to go. The duck strap, the backpack, uh, what else? The waiter bag, the hand, deluxe hand warmer, and the decoy bag. All that is basically a nice beginner decoy and gear setup to go out. And whether you're new or not, you could still enter. There's just a couple things you guys gotta do. The link is down in the description below. Pop open the description, click on that link. It will tell you exactly what you gotta do. 
Now, just to kind of give you a preface of what you gotta do, because these questions will probably get asked, they always do, even though I say it in the video. The main thing is, is you go in there, click on the link, you put your email in, you are entered. Because a lot of people don't have Facebook, don't have Instagram, none of that social media stuff. So you go in there, the two things you've got to do is you've gotta be subscribed to our YouTube channel, Mid Valley Mercenaries, you have to be subscribed to that, and you've gotta put your email in to enter. If you have Instagram or Facebook and you go follow us, in Cupped Waterfowl on Instagram or Facebook, you guys will get extra points for that. Extra entry, so to speak, if you, kind of like you're doing a raffle. So go in there, follow everything it says, it will tell you what to do. There's a nice landing page, when you click on the link, it gives you all the details, helps you enter, and at the end of November, some lucky hunter, whether you're a beginner or need new gear, maybe you lost yours, I know sometimes things happen, you will get this, we'll send it out straight to your house, and you guys will be fully set up with a lot of nice new equipment. And I'm super stoked to be able to offer that to you. I really want to say thank you to Cup of Waterfowl for working with me to help you guys, the subscribers, the people that always give a thumbs up, the people that have been around for a long time, the chance to win something super nice like this. So it really makes me happy. Really glad to do this for you guys. I feel like this is a really cool giveaway, honestly. And you're going to get really get good gear. That being said, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.